Today, we're going to talk about my top five things that I hate about having a beard. And yes, there's five. Yes, I narrowed them down. And I'm going to walk you through uh, five to one uh, right after this. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, watching this and uh, uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, hit hit that bell down there for me. Give me a thumbs up and uh, let's get into this. So the top five things <clears throat> that I hate about having a beard and these are in order. Uh, I, I uh, number five. Let's just start. Number five. Uh, eating. Eating is awful with a beard and a mustache. Uh, I uh, the the diet that I eat is I eat a lot of pork rinds. I mean, pork rinds are in my diet, and they're yummy, and uh, but they're crunchy, and they leave flakes all over in the beard. So it's like, I need a pocket comb with me everywhere I go because of eating. So you're always having to brush it out. You're always wondering, you know, if you're in a restaurant or out somewhere, like, do I have something in my beard? Um, kind of run to the restroom every once in a while just to check your beard. And and uh, to me, that gets kind of annoying. The other aspect of it is, is, is drinking, you know, like, here's my hot coffee. Gets up in the mustache and stuff. Um... That, that kind of bugs me sometimes if I'm wearing mustache wax because I'm trying to train my stash. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get the drink on it. And, you know, now i got to start using straws more or something because then I start tasting mustache wax. So that's number five. Number five is just eating in general. Um, anything sloppy is, is, is rough. Uh, I mean, I've had stuff dripping down my beard. I've had stuff stuck in my beard. I've been two hours later and my wife's been like, hey, uh, you, you got some stuff in your beard. And I was like, well, well, thanks. You couldn't tell me sooner. But... Uh, so that's number five. Uh, number four, the looks that you get and the assumptions that people give because you have a beard. Um, beards are becoming a lot more mainstream. We all know that. There's uh, channels on YouTube. There's reviews. There's a bunch of product companies coming up. Beards are definitely getting more mainstream. But they still have a bad rap in some places, you know, like uh, professional environments. Sometimes you got to keep it trimmed up or... Sometimes you just get looks uh, by people. Uh, you know, I work in a completely professional setting and, uh, you know, dress clothes and things like that at times. And so I get that uh, unprofessional look from bosses and things like that. And I've had to talk my boss through actually why I have a beard and how mainstream they're becoming. Uh, so there's that. Uh, people just have misconceptions of, I mean, it, it's a, it's a, I guess you get uh, categorized. Uh, because you have a beard, and yes, it's getting more mainstream, but you still get categorized by some people. So, uh, so getting the looks and getting the the judgment from people um, are probably. Uh, I mean, that is my number four thing that I hate about having a beard. I I just get sick of. Uh, I mean, there's there's questions like you know, is it beards are dirty and there's stuff stuck in it and and things like that. And it's like people don't understand that we wash our beards just like we wash our hair. And they're clean. So um, it just needs more channels like this, more things like uh, this community to get out there and show people that uh, beards can be professional and and uh, that they're good. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a beard. Beards are trendy. Um, so that brings us to uh, the number three thing that I hate about having a beard. Colds. It doesn't matter what time of year. If it's summer and you get catch a cold or allergies or... Uh, the winter you get sick. Oh my gosh, colds are awful with a beard. It's like you gotta blow your nose. It's it's all up in your mustache, and then you like you're wiping it off, and then uh, uh, you you realize that there's still a bunch more in your mustache, and then you get that, and then like it's leaving all the white particles behind from the tissue. Who's got time for this? Like, don't get sick with a beard or a mustache. It just doesn't work. It absolutely drives me nuts. Trying to blow my nose with my mustache. So that's my number uh, three thing that I hate about having a beard. Number two, winter. Number two, winter. It's awful. Let's start with shoveling. You're outside and it's five degrees and you're shoveling. Snot's dripping down your nose. 
snow, like your your face is getting wet from the snow, and then it's freezing. You got like dingleberries hanging off your face because it's your snot and and the the wetness. But the <laughs> the thing I hate the most about the winter is wearing coats. I can't tell you how many times I put a coat on, zip it up, and there goes my beard. Gets zipped up in my zipper. Uh, I like to snowmobile. We like to do things like that, and that requires you know big coats that come up up here, you know, helmets, things like that. Uh, they just tug at the beard, they pull it, and it hurts. Um, the other aspect of winter is uh, your beard's drying out, so you gotta do more care on it. I don't mind caring for my beard. Like, a lot of people will be like, oh, it takes me longer to get ready in the morning because I have a beard and that's a downside. Who cares? I don't care about that. Like, I'll spend the f extra five or 10 minutes every day um, grooming my beard or maintaining my beard because I, I like my beard and it, to me it's worth it. The thing that I don't like with that is the dryness. So it's, you know, like in the summer I could put beard oil on in the morning and get through the whole day. In the winter it's like I gotta take a vial with me. So um, winter in general sucks for having a beard in my opinion. Does it keep your neck warm? Yeah, a little bit, but it, the cons are way worse in my opinion, right? You know, so like, do we, maybe I just need to move somewhere what, nice, like Hawaii or Florida or, you know, down south somewhere. I don't know. I guess that's just part of living in South Dakota. You got winter to deal with. But that leads us to number one. So the number one thing that I hate about having a beard is kissing my wife or my kid. But anything along those lines. You got a beard balm or a beard oil in, you go give wife or kid a kiss, and you're eating it. You're tasting it. Uh, mustache getting down. Like I'm trying to train my mustache, so I don't trim it. I'm, I'm letting it grow out, but I'm just trying to train it. And, you know, I don't know if I'm going to handlebar it or what I'm going to do with it yet. I just, I'm, I'm not trimming it right now. So, you know, there's some times where you get with the wife, and the next thing you know is, like, we're just kissing a mustache. It's in my mouth, it's in her mouth, it's awful. We can taste it. And then, you know, like you wake up in the morning and, and your beard's like all this, all sorts of everywhere. Um, so it, that just, I mean, that's the thing that's like, I've contemplating shaving it before just because of that. Um, but I've got through it, worked through it. Uh, she's worked through it. So uh, we're troopers in that aspect. And I'm just hoping as it gets longer, um, it kind of goes away or maybe we just get used to it. I, I, I don't really know, but we're dealing with it she thinks it's hot so we're just gonna keep going and and that I, I like it too so um that's my uh top five things that i hate about having a beard i don't know if any of you can complain with that but that's a pretty damn solid top five so if you have if you agree write it down in the comments if you disagree or if you have a different one that's in your top five write it down in the comments i'd love to hear what everybody's top five is and we'll uh we'll just have some conversation around that so um Thanks for watching. Um, as always, God's number one. And uh, we are able to do all of this, watch these videos, make these videos, talk about our beards, grow our beards, all because God gives us uh, this every single day and the ability to do this and grants us with all these things. Uh, we are extremely lucky to be where we're at in life and, and on this planet, and we only have God to thank for that. So let's thank God first and foremost. And uh, secondly, thank you guys for watching these videos, subscribing, and and keeping me energized to want to keep doing these things and, and coming up with more and more ideas. And the more subscribers and likes and stuff that we get, uh, the more ideas I have, the more time I'm finding to film because I want to get this stuff out to you guys because you're showing me that you want it. So that's uh, so special to me. It means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, uh, hit me up on Instagram. We can talk on there. We can talk here. Um, let's just uh, keep conversation going. I really appreciate it. And I love hearing from all you guys. And, uh, I, I can't thank you enough for watching and, and making all this happen. So thank God, thank you guys, and until next time, God bless.